Hi, this is Tristan. I'm here with a new album. Uh, we're calling this a Victorian keepsake. It has a lot of Victorian papers and mementos and um, decorations and embellishments in it. Here on the cover we have uh, some tassels of chains and there's crystals, uh, little charms, a big crystal, a piece of lace, Oh, it looks like a key with a rhinestone. A pair of embroidery scissors. And a clock. And a gilt frame with a woman and her parasol. Uh, butterfly, gems, uh, faux crystals. Flowers. And the spine has a nice metal uh, nameplate that says a Victorian keepsake with the same flower from that set and more rhinestones. It has a nice hook with a uh, silk ribbon bow and there is a cameo in a bronze trimmed frame. These are on a hook so they could be removed if you wanted to and put your own keepsake on there. Um, I mean, they're fine the way they are, but you could certainly personalize it and make it your own, just removing them from that hook that I put on there. And as we go to the interior, first page, has um, just simple, has a pack pocket with a mat for photos, whatever, um, journaling notes, diary notes, travel notes, poetry, any kind of keepsake you might like. And our first uh, serious page. <laughs> have a um, really nice piece of old jewelry. Um, kind of looks like a, uh, a pin. It's got a crown with rhinestones and lots of chains dangling from it. This is a framed exotic bird. has a silk flower attached. And this is uh, attached with magnets. So it will stay closed for you. And um, again, double sided mat, whatever you might like to put in, space for another um, photograph or memorabilia there. Nice large space here. And at the edge, actually this is at the edge of every single page, so I won't pull it out every time. But every page has an oversized uh, double-sided mat that comes from the side. Um, I believe uh, it handles a four by seven. Um, no, five by seven, I'm sorry, five by seven. So you could also use a four by six photo on it. Or of course, any size paper with uh, journaling or poetry or anything else you might have that you might want to put on there. Our next page we have uh, the resin and uh, plaster composition Victorian ornamentation that I cover with alcohol inks. There's some silk ribbons and some flowers. Um, you enter into this, there's a on page pocket here which holds. Um, Oh, I've got two mats in here. 
Um, uh, and they're all double-sided. Um, you could, of course, it will handle many more. You could certainly add more uh, items to it if you like. And if we swing these down and lift these up, This comes down, and here we have a tag for photos, and here's another one, and then this entire thing. Let's see if I can get this to lift back up here. Back down, and turn these around, and this is also magnetized. And so, here's two large spaces for photographs or what have you. This is, I like, I like the style page. Um, Turns got lovely little crystal doorknobs. Um, I don't know if you can see it on camera, but there's some lovely pearl bling on here. Um, inside <coughs> the first flap, we have another double-sided mat, which is here. And inside this one, there's another double-sided mat and a nice large space here. And again, as a side um, double mat. The back of this page has diagonal um, pockets. I've got, um, I've put two mats in each pocket, double sided. Um, I believe these are five by seven, I think. I know these are five by five. Um, so they'll hold rather large photographs. Also, they will, um, <clears throat> the pockets will handle a lot more photographs than I have put mats in there for. You can add, certainly add to it. Uh, with a frozen Charlotte on a little rosette I made with some gilt trim ribbon. Here we have a fancy ribbon ornamentation on the front with yet another double-sided tag and this lifts down it's magnetized and in here is another double-sided mat oh, what am I doing it's the same mat here are the extra um, spaces for um, photos and the one on the side of course and on the side we have multiple pocket mats, double mats. I've put two in here um, there's certainly room for more I don't know how many more, but you can certainly get three or four more in there. Uh, any, any number of, a large number of them. This page has two little flip open windows, or doorways, I'm sorry, they're not windows, that you could put wallet size photographs here and here. And here is a large size photograph. And inside is a 
another double sided mat. And um, a double sided mat goes in this little pocket on this page. page of uh, the same swing tap operation. On the cover there's a um, double sided tag and when you open it there's room for another one. Here's a nice large space for um, photograph or poetry or whatever journaling, another large space, and another large space, and another large space, and yet another large space. So as you can see, this album has room for lots of photographs and memorabilia, keepsakes, whether you save ticket subs or brochures or memorabilia, there's room for lots and lots of stuff. And yes, is a, is there, the, here is the, uh, the, the mat at the end of the um, page. Another swing tab mat. Um, this one's all outlined in faux pearls. Pretty little vintage velveteen milliner's butterfly. And these go down. And when this is lifted, here we have a band that holds, we've got three mats in here. They uh, fit behind the band and into the pocket. There is um, room for lots more. And there's also a small pocket here. You can either put a large photograph on this page or you could put another photo uh, or souvenir in that pocket down below there. And here we have a gatefold latch, three rhinestone tassel, and this will open, and there's room for a photo here, and room for a wall size photo here. We swing these open. Here we have room for photos here and here. Oh, it's hard to do this one handed. I'm going to have to use both hands. thing lifts up. Space for another large photo. And then another double sided net goes in here. And then there's two little uh, room for two wallet size or as many as you'd like. This will hold quite a few down here. Sweet little antique key with a ribbon on it. So down here. Slip. Right, 
turn back over. And there we go. Oh, it's backwards. It takes a while to get used to. <laughs> but there's a lot of ways to operate these pages. Goodness, it's such so much easier with two hands. <laughs> and our last page is another string tie. And on this one, it comes up and down. There's a large mat inside. Supposed to be here in the end. I don't know why it didn't get in there, but there it is. And this one has two double mats on the edges. They're both the same. last page we have another um, envelope with mat this has a little uh, Victorian locket which actually fits the little key that was further back in the album tied with a little piece of raffia so that's our Victorian keepsake album we hope you enjoyed our little stroll. Enjoyed showing it to you and had a fun time making it. And hope to see you again. Show you what's new. Thanks so much for stopping by. And we'll see you the next time.